Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real L Guide. Now I've gone for a beer today which takes me right back. Um, I seen it in a shop, I thought I'm going to pick this up and, and show the people around the world probably one of the lowest ABV beers out there. Um, the reason it takes me right back is because I used to drink on a Thursday night in a, in a pub called the Witchell Hotel. And they used to have a karaoke night. And the karaoke main DJ, um, his name was Digger. And he used to drink this man's brown ale all night and still drive home. Because this is the original brown ale. Have you heard of black and tans? This is the original mix for a black and tan or a half and half or a bitter and a man's. This is 2.8% ABV. This is your classic, classic, finished your factory shift, finished your hard days in work, 100 odd years ago, down the pub, you probably lost bucket loads of sweat all day. You can down three of these without even breaking, <laughs> breaking sweat and you still would be standing absolutely vertical, absolutely upright. The original brown ale. Okay, this dates back to 1902. Little information on the bottle. First brewed in London in 1902, the complex blend of pale and dark roasted malts still lies at the heart of this classic English beer. A deliciously creamy biscuity beer with a sweet lightly hopped, <laughs> lightly, Moorish flavour. Serve lightly chilled. And it's still a trademark today. There's even, it's such an old beer, it's got such an old fashioned feel about it. There's a recipe, a black, a man's recipe on the back. A man's loaf of bread. Right, let's show you the bottle cap because look, even the bottle cap looks really old. It's Full of scratches. Let's get it. Let's hide my face so it focuses. It's full of scratches and dents and marks. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> Even the, the the bottle cap looks ancient. So let's get this beer open. Got using the old BB bar fly open that again. I've been talking so much I didn't. Give it the old flick, but there we go, there's the bottle cap. Now then, let's get this beer into a glass. I've I've seen I've seen people drinking this. I've never drunk it myself. Never drunk it myself. If it's the original brown ale, then I then it's older than Newcastle brown ale. It's older than all of the nutty brown ales I imagine that have been invented in this country since this was first brewed. So this is a good old fashioned pioneer of this day. So why not give it a review? Why not? So what are we getting? One finger head. Shouldn't be giving people a bird there but there we go. Classic one finger head. Slightly off white foamy head <coughs> the aroma extremely extremely light but I know what they're saying about the silky luxury about it do you know this reminds me of the aroma this reminds me and it kind of looks the same as well of a, a watered down Young's double chocolate stout. Let's give it a go. Oh. Wow. That is 
That is something else. That is, that is something completely different to what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting anything in all honesty. Yeah, coffee. It's very, very sweet on the finish. Extremely sweet, as if somebody's popped a boiled, a boiled sweet in the bottom of here, but it's right on the end of the, the palette, right at the finish. Loads and loads of brown sugar. This, it's got brown sugar going on like the bucket load. There's hints. There's, I tell you, it's a, this drink has absolutely staggered me. Staggered me. You got sweet, and then a burning the 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 chocolate malt, the burnt chocolate malt comes through, and then straight away it gets swept away by this boiled sweet brown sugar. Just it just takes you're trying to concentrate on what else is going on in this beer, which in my mind is like it's like. Completely, the the roasted, roasted malts there, the dark malts, the chocolate malts, and then it gets completely swept away by by this boiled sweet brown sugar taste, which is is the brown sugar first, then you get a hint of the chocolate malts, and then woof, we get taken away again by this brown sugar boiled sweet. Oh, I say. Uh, This is an ideal pint, really now, really. If you're watching this for the first time, if you're watching The Real Ale Guy for the first time, if you're wondering about all the, the raving reviews about Real Ale craft beer, you want to go out and you want to try your first pint, you're in the UK, then I suggest you go and buy a bottle of Mann's Brown Ale. It's quite complex, but it's very sweet and it's a little nudge in the right direction towards drinking good beer. This will help you along the way. Wow! Man's brown ale. Do you know, I'm not going to finish this. I'm not going to finish a pint on the real ale guide. I'm going to take some of this into my wife and see what she thinks of it. She, she likes the sweets and her chocolate, so I'm going to take this in. Anything else? Oh, let me read the recipe. The, the original man's walnut bread loaf. Grease a two pound loaf tin. Combine three quarters of a pound of flour, four teaspoonfuls of baking powder, two teaspoons of salt, and one teen teaspoonful of honey, and two ounces of chopped walnuts. With 12 fluid ounces of man's brown ale. How many fluid ounces in this bottle? Doesn't say. Okay, but 12 fluid ounces anyway. And mix well. Turn into a loaf tin and bake at 150 degrees 45 minutes until browned and skewer comes out clean. I imagine that is the best loaf of bread you're ever going to want to taste in your life. Or oh, the original man's brown split. In America, they call it a black and tan. This is the original recipe for a black and tan. Here we go then. Let's see if I can focus in on this. Let's see if it'll do it. Just so you can see that I'm not exaggerating. Here we are, the original man's brown split. Pause the video if you want to read the rest, but I'm going to read it out loud. A traditional dark dating back to 1902, half a man's brown ale and half a bitter or mild. Also called a half and half, man's is still drunk this way by many. 
contains barley and malted wheat. Okay, thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. I'm going to rate this man's beer now. And it gets a solid 7. It gets a solid 7 out of 10. Again, the reason being, um, if you're a craft beer, if you're used to craft beer, then this will, and you haven't tried this, then it'll shock you a little bit because you think 2.8%. No, no. But it's got quite a lot of different flavours. This is ideal for the for the people who are drinking the glass cleaning lagers out there who want to move over to classic good old beers and craft beers which are which are absolutely sweeping the nation at the moment. If you can get this in America, I really suggest you take a look at it. 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. You can get in contact with me on Twitter, Real Ale Today, Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Real Ale Craft Beer. Email me at Real Ale Guide at googlemail.com. But most of all, I love your comments. Um, always answer them. Subscribe if you like, and cheers.